All right, guys, so today we're going to be replacing a uh, steering angle sensor for a uh, Ford Explorer. I believe that's what this is. So I'm going to go ahead and go through uh, all the steps you need to do to replace this. All right, so first things we got to do is there are these tiny bolts on the bottom that hold this bottom piece up. On here, they take a 5.5 socket. So you gotta take this off and this part to get to the actual steering wheel wires and all that fun stuff. So I'm gonna get those taken out and then I will be right back. So after you take all those bolts off, you wanna take the top, which is just held by little clips. I just use the flathead screwdriver. I would prefer to use actual clip remover tools, but if you do use a flathead, it goes like this. So kind of squeeze it to this part, get that loose and then squeeze the sides right here to make it more easier to get out. So you got the top off. Now you just need to get the bottom off, which should just kind of just wiggle out kind of like this. As you can see, after you got to just got to give it some more tug, obviously doesn't want to come out like how it's supposed to which is always an issue so let me get this out and I will be right back okay so basically when you're taking out the bottom piece you kind of want to curve it to where it comes loose from this because this is what's blocking it from coming out so when you go to take it out kind of twist it like this way it makes it more easier to get out so now we're going to the more complex part. So let me zoom you guys in. All these wires, you have to remember where they go. Now it seems simple, right? Big goes with big, whatever. But you wanna make sure that it's all the same. Because if you take it out wrong and put it, I mean, not, not take it out wrong, put it back in wrong, then the rest is history. So I'm going to get these undone. Make sure I would take pictures when you're doing this so you know what you're doing. And I'll be right back. All right. So I recommend using a flathead when you're going to take those off because they have like a kind of push kind of mechanism. So after that, you want to disconnect this from this whole entire thing because that part is all the way in the back of this. It's not in here. It's all the way in the back. So we have to take off this entire thing. So I believe you got to take off all of these screws and then you'll be good. All right, so the steering wheel is held on by two bolts. They're right here. They are a uh, T45 to get the uh, entire steering wheel off. All you do is just pull it, comes right out. So now that we're getting further into it, and this is where you're looking at, this is fun. I believe if I'm not mistaken, it's behind this. So give me one second while I take this out. Okay, so it's dark time now because there is a ring attached to this i've already put the new piece on and everything so you're gonna need a uh a ring tool so what you do i just shook my camera is you pretty much put them in the hole when i can find the hole then you just squeeze like that as hard as you can and it's immediately going to pop out and then I will show you the uh, other one. Okay, so this is the old switch, okay? So when you get the new one in there, it's going to, you want it like, I believe it's like this. And essentially you want this to be straight, this piece right here. You want it to be straight as you're going in it's going to be like this, or like this, I believe. And then this is going to go over this um, 
crank, essentially. And then the wire, if you see that yellow wire right there, you follow it all the way down and then you'll see it. It's, it's held by like this blue clip. So then once you do that, you are good to go with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and reverse my steps. I'm gonna put everything back on the way it was and then we should be good to go and test it out. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Sorry that I didn't show you to the extent, but it was giving me issue, but we replaced it and that was not the issue. So we're gonna look further more into it, but that is how to replace that part. Thanks for watching.